Was 9-11 a conspiracy? Was it all just an inside job? I don't know for sure and I'm not trying to convince anyone of my own opinion. I do implore that you do your own research and draw your own conclusion. Today I'll be taking a look at 11 undeniable facts about 9-11. Please watch the video first and draw your own conclusion from that. Don't leave a comment before watching the video getting all emotional and reactionary saying how dare you. That does not do anyone any favors and having a real civilized discussion would be Great, thank you. Number 11. When contact is lost with airplanes, fighter jets are sent in the air to investigate, usually within 20 minutes. This is a common procedure that happens over 100 times per year, but on 9-11 contact with the United Airlines flights was lost for over 2 hours without receiving any interception. Number 10. President Bush claimed to see the first plane hit the North Tower on TV as he was outside a classroom about to read to some kids and, quote, the TV was obviously on, end quote. Footage of the first plane crash was never aired live and didn't play on television until September 12th. Even after being made aware of the second plane crash, Bush remained in the classroom for several minutes instead of being moved to a secure location. Number 9. The 9-11 Commission report wasn't started until a shocking 441 days after 9-11. Commissions on events such as the JFK shooting and Pearl Harbor begun only a week afterwards. Number 8. The 9-11 Commission only received $15 million of funding compared to the over $60 million spent on investigating Bill Clinton's affair with Monica Lewinsky and left out so much information the book has long been referred to as the 9-11 Omission Report. Number 7. Structural engineer for the Twin Towers Leslie Robertson said he designed the buildings to withstand a Boeing 707 crashing into them. The 767s that did fly into the towers were slightly bigger, although Robertson said they could probably withstand multiple impacts of jetliners. Fellow engineer Charlie Thornton said, as far as a plane knocking a building over, that would not happen. Number 6. Hundreds of firefighters in the World Trade Center claimed to have heard bombs going off in the buildings in a pattern that sounded much like an organized demolition. Number 5. Steel-framed buildings have never fully collapsed from structural damage or fire. In 2005, the Windsor Building in Spain was on fire and burned for nearly 24 hours. While 10 floors were destroyed, the core remained intact and the building did not fall over. Number 4. The steel beams could have been fully examined to see if they were weakened from fire, but contradictory to usual crime scene procedures, they were sent overseas and quickly melted down. Number 3. BBC correspondent Jane Stanley reported the collapse of Building 7 20 minutes before it happened. You can even see it standing right behind her as she's talking. Number 2. Building 7 fell several hours after the Twin Towers, although it was not hit by a plane. The explanation given is that its exterior metal beams gave way due to catching fire from the towers, which makes it sound like a pretty wimpy building. If this was the case, wouldn't you expect the other surrounding buildings to also catch fire and fall down? Building 7 also fell symmetrically and at near freefall speed, which would require all structural support to be pulled simultaneously. Number 1. Seven of these supposed hijackers are still alive, according to the BBC. One of them was identified after his passport survived intense fireballs and was ejected from the towers, landing several blocks away from the World Trade Center in perfect condition. What luck! So what do you think about those facts about 9-11? Once again, I'm not saying it's a conspiracy, and I'm not saying it's not a conspiracy, but I do think those are some of the facts that a lot of the general public has not been made aware of, so I do find it pretty interesting. Leave your own thoughts down below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to my channel for more list videos. I mostly do comedy videos, but I also do some educational ones like this, so check out my channel if you're interested.